would rather not get obliterated, so I'll go Red Smite. Yeah, I do coaching. You can check it on Discord. <laughs> Her touch for the first time. How do you understand each other? I mean... I guess. Alright. So, Hecarim against Diana. Uh, matchup wise uh, it's quite equal actually both of her clear speeds are very much equal uh, like 1v1 she is slightly stronger if she plays them right but she has the land skill shots and i don't so i do have an advantage there i suppose as well i guess whoever gets the lead gets the lead basically is what it comes down to all right the red buff down towards the bot lane so they have to walk less and they can do more auto attacks there, that, that last auto attack Ash did right there would not normally not have been a thing. So just doing it for that sake just gives you like an extra auto attack of damage, which is nice. W second. I'll take damage first and then smite it at the end, so my smite actually heals me for the most. You have to be a little bit careful with your mana when you're starting red instead of blue. Some tips on a Viego matchup in jungle? Uh, just have a better clear speed. Like if you pick a champion with a better clear speed, you should be fine. Or you can pick like Xin Zhao and just walk all over him, so I guess that's a thing as well. Pick another point in Q. Just going for clear speed here. I'm just gonna, like, I'm assuming Diana full clears as well, so clearing to contest that i don't want to use w on this camp because it's better to help you leash the gromp in we got a little bit hp off of this then we do that that's why we use your w4 I don't mind taking a lot of damage here. It's a little bit more risky this way, but as long as Diana doesn't show up, we're good. There we go. Gonna hit this. She isn't there. We got a kill on mid. That's good. I'm actually gonna run straight through mid to bot lane scuttle. Because I think she just full clear towards top side there. So if I just... Oh, and actually she went bot lane. She started top side clear. Interesting. Very interesting. She full cleared. She didn't even full clear, actually. Oh, he doesn't die. Okay. Camille does die off that, though. Maybe I should have tanked one more turret shield. It's in the turret. This will be fine. I'm gonna press base. That'll be okay. I think that should be okay. I was close, real close. It gets here. I'm just gonna go for Krux full clear again. I'm gonna go Divine Thunder in this game, but uh, I'm still gonna go get the tier. Same goes for my like my Triforce build as well. I, I just think t like Muraman is quite insane on Hecarim because he scales really nicely off bonus attack damage and that item just gives a lot of it. Also the additional mana sustain tier gives is really nice as well. I think I may have been able to save my... Com Actually, I, mm, I don't know. She used all of her stuff already, so I think she was pretty much dead regardless. But uh, yeah, I guess. I can get the mid-wave experience here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a nice champion there, buddy. Wonderful. 
He's rushing Bramble. What the heck? I don't think that's going to do much for him. He should have definitely just rushed ninjas against Camille. Like rushing ninjas is basically just like gold level on that like against that matchup because she does so many auto attacks. I'm going to hit 6 here. Plants are up at 5.30 so I can definitely gank top after this. Oh, Dinah's here as well. He's dead, right? Okay, good. At least a one for one trade. Just have to make sure I delay her long enough. Yeah, there we go. All I had to do was delay her long enough for the Camille to catch up with her E because it's a massive uh, gap close that she has there. So that works for me. Oh, no, we're not doing this. I'm walking back. On this HP, it's not worth the risk. It appears my Ash is struggling. All right, let's get a Phage. I'm doing pretty well here. Farm is pretty good. His main problem is bot lane currently, I think. But, uh, yeah. After Ash hits 6, Rakan hits 6, bot lane is a pretty easy gank. I just kind of wait for that situation now. Oof. She heavily lost that fight there, actually. She needs to buy healing reduction. Like, if she's not buying healing reduction, she's kind of, like, making a mistake. Like, not buying healing reduction against the Mundo is one of the dumbest things she can do. She needs that Executioner's Calling. I ult's up in 30 seconds. I mean... Okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to give Dragon here. I can't, I can't do anything. It's not worth going bot side right here. Because I'd just be wasting a lot of time. Rakan just backed. I can't do anything there ever. They, Diana's doing Dragon right now, but I'm just gonna give. Do my top side camps, potentially look for a Rift Herald, stuff like that. I just have to keep the consistency in my clear up. If I don't do that, I'm gonna lose, of course, but... But giving up an early dragon, like one of them or two of them even, doesn't matter. Uh, that's just... Oof. It shouldn't be allowed, honestly, like, to die that much. Uh, like, I granted, the Rakan isn't in lane and she's like 2v1 laning, but there should still be no way that she doesn't just... Uh, Stay under a turret and play safe. Gonna take her topside camps. Gonna punish the Diana for being both side towards the dragon there. I'm not gonna queue again, I'm just gonna auto attack this. Sweep. The minion wave is here, so I can't walk around yet. I'm just gonna go top now. I needed to just ult. I'm gonna ult there so he just basically can never get to the Camille. I'm dead. I'm straight up dead, aren't I? Am I dead to this burn? Please let me live. Whew. Imagine that. It's better to suicide. I think Dinah's gonna get the kill. Oh my god. I couldn't have ran, because the teleport, I had nowhere to go, I was going to get pincer there regardless. Dino was actually right there to back back the uh, back the guy up. Maybe I shouldn't have suicided, but I think it's just a better play. I 
Going for some form of an endless chase there, I don't think would have gotten me anything, so I don't think it would have been worth it. Like, if I, like, try to run there for, like, 25 years, for example, then... I don't know. Please, Camille, please, 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 please move, please move. None of this should be allowed. Nice, I got the shutdown. I like it. Again, like this build, I'm going to find Sunder in this game because they're like a little bit more tanky, harder to kill. Uh, you can also go Triforce instead if they're just generally squishier. But you can still, like the Muramana, still the same item. I'm just gonna full clear towards bot side now. Keep my jungle clear speed alive. Was I worth any shutdown when I died? No, right? No, okay, very good. That is beautiful. I really want to just... I mean, Diana would be an ideal kill here, because she's worth shutdown gold. For some reason, I don't even know why. I'm two levels higher than her, and she's worth shutdown gold. I don't understand. Oh, boy. I'm going to run bolt as soon as I can here. My ult's going to be up in a, a second. She's going to herald here, yeah. I'm going to take the plant over the wall. And that... That plant hit right there from the Seraphine, I think it was, was really good. I'm gonna go mid now. Did I walk over a ward there? I think I may have. I know. Sad. Okay. Please, please, just go up. No! You should have just dashed over the wall and ulted, buddy. Oh, no. I was trying to ping in a way that I could follow that. We can dive this guy here. He is, he has, like, the safety of the, whatever. If the Rakan would have just, like, W'd over the wall there and just ulted, that would have been locked in place to both of them instantly, and then I would have just ulted on top of that and they would have both died. At least that's the idea I had in mind. But, uh, yeah. Just me. No kidding. That shit hit me? Oh my fucking god, I should not have committed that hard. Oh, uh, my recon didn't ignite either, you're kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Damn it. If he ignited, Viger would have guaranteed died. The Diana was right there to fall. Like, that, that Seraphine thing hit me, which is the, the sad thing. I was already slowed as well. I need mercs. I absolutely need mercs right now. This is really annoying. It's a bad death on my end, by the way, because Dragon's gonna spawn here. Diana has no ult, so that's really good. She used that on me. Like, this should be... Don't allow it. Please don't give it. Just please don't give it. That's all I ask. I'm gonna do red real quick. I definitely made it, like, went too deep on the uh, Vigar there. Gonna make sure that I keep clearing for a bit. She might be doing dragon still. I just have no, no vision on it. Level up is important before the next fight. My ult's on cooldown, so... There's that as well. Ash is struggling. Yeah, Drake's dead. I couldn't contest that. I just couldn't contest that. I mean, in teamfights specifically, Viego is going to be a problem, even though he's behind. But, like, we just need to land, like, our ultimates. Good recon ult. We'll basically win a fight instantly. Ally has been slain. 
Beautiful. Very good. That was a really nice Rakan ultimate there. That's what we're looking for. Like, Rakan is basically going to allow me to, like, set up a really nice Hecarim ultimate every team fight if I do it right. If I just follow him and he lands a good Rakan ult, that's, that's going to be the beautiful thing. That is reasonably keeping up and farm with me. I sh shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, please! You missed! Uh, I'm gonna go for this guy then. Oh, she flashed. Damn. Sad. It's okay. Uh, no, 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 we're not doing this. I'm gonna do scuttle. Oh boy. Oh no, no, no. We're going for the Diana. No, oh, we're dead. We're straight dead here. Yep, nope, I should have ran. I, I, in my mind, I was like, I have to run, I have to run, then I turned around to try to help my team. That was bad. All right, get this. The, I'm pretty sure Mundo TP'd there. I killed the Diana and I should have ran instantly. I could have lived. My Ash was just in a really greedy place. Ooh, this game is going to get annoying. All right, I'm going to just stack a magic. Like, I'm just going to go get a magic resist item next. Probably going to just ult for spirit visits, to be honest. Yeah, I think spirit visits is going to be good gonna be like increase my healing and they have a lot of magic damage like they have a viego and magic damage basically so spirit like magic resist is gonna be good here this is gonna be a difficult game i think definitely because like just simply them having viego to be able to clean even though he was behind it doesn't matter because he's gonna take our champions anyway He's coming back into the game now as well, so yeah, there's that. Can't kill Mundo, realistically. Enemy team has two dragons. Uh, Camille is struggling, definitely. I think I win the one if you want against him pretty well. Actually, do I? Nah, it, I can't risk it, can I? No, I can't risk it. That, I don't have healing reduction. I actually don't win that. I realized halfway through that I'm not going to have enough healing to survive. Or to uh, get, get a kill on him even. Too tanky. Oh my god, my team is losing. Jesus Christ. My team is losing. Like, painfully losing. I have like half HP, I have to take that into account. They're gonna do Herald here and they're gonna get the next dragon again. Just need to get red buff, regen with red buff and then hopefully look for the play. Vigar is a problem, for sure. I mean, Camille is also pretty, uh, in a pretty bad spot. If we can kill him here, that would be really nice. He's also worth shutdown gold, so. Okay. I have to make sure that I hold my smite for Drake here. How long on Ashold? Four seconds? We just have to wait four seconds. Camille, please TP, please TP, please TP, please TP, you have to. Right, I'm playing this as slow as I can. She TP'd. I'm not gonna go in after what I already did, because it's really bad to do that for me in this situation. 
Because the moment I go in there, I have a problem because I'm going to take too much damage. I'm not that tanky. I just disrupted them long enough to where that fight was already won. If my team follows up and Camille did TP here, which is nice. That's good for us. That was really nicely played for my team as well. But the key thing there was just not overextending for the kill on the Seraphine and the, uh, on the Vigar at the same time. It was very key for me there to play that safe enough to where I'd survive. Baron? No, no chance. We don't have the damage for that. We have to get the dragon there as well. So we just dragon. I almost... I'm getting close to my spirit fishes, which is going to be an amazing item for me here in this game. I really need to get it because it's going to make me way more tanky against them. I need 200 gold. I'm gonna, I'm running top lane here. Ghost. I'm dead here. Uh, I should have let my Camille die. I should have just let her die. I tried to save her again. She's walking up too far by herself. And dies. I shouldn't. I shouldn't try to save. She even waited on the wall there. Oh my god. Oh wait. I think Ragus has. Okay, never mind. That was a good control ward. No. Okay. Vigar just ulted Ash. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking a lot of magic damage, as you can see. I also got ignited there. They're gonna Baron now. I think Gragas actually has a realistic chance of stopping this Baron if he does it right. Like he will do a lot of AoE damage. They don't have uh, actually Viego has quite a lot of Baron damage. Oh boy. All right, you're like 10 HP, Camille. This is not worth it. Oh, is is Gragas even gonna do anything here? Interesting. We're actually gonna win this fight, I think. Eh, actually, never mind. We couldn't really go any further. This game is gonna get interesting. Let's call it that. Definitely going to get interesting. I'm pretty strong, but. My ADC is not, so we're lacking a lot of DPS there. We have Ash Hills ready. Okay. Just need anyone. He's doing wolves. We can catch her. Oh, Rakan got it. That's uh, whatever. Wait, hello? Apparently I didn't click it. 4v5, we have to go like right now. That's a dead Vigar. It should be a dead Vigar. Mill ult in 5 seconds, okay. Where's this boy? Is that, even, is that even gonna result in a kill? Alright, it is. Okay, good. I'm gonna knock her away from my team. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, okay. He's in base? I really need to stop following my Camille. Really need to stop. Really need to stop. What happened to Ash? 
Like, I actually wonder what happened to Ash there. I got stone plate next. Oh no, we lose Drake. We lose the next dragon off that. If Gragas can prevent this, that would be really good. If he can literally prevent dragon from happening, that would be amazing. Oh no. Oh boy. He's dead. If he kills Diana here, that's good. That's good. That's good. He just needs to live now. This is going to be good. This is going to be really good. If this works out well. Ash ult, that's not an Ash ult, buddy. That is not one. No, Vygar did dragon. Ah, oh, shit. That is really nicely done from Vygar. I should have gone for the dragon. The Ash ult just completely missed everything. Oh my god. Oh boy. Well, this is not good. I wonder if we're ever actually gonna get a straight 5v5. I'm almost 16, which is gonna be nice. I'm gonna farm for that right now. I have 213 farm, which is good. I just need my team to start doing more damage. That's really all it is at the moment. I really need them to do a bit more damage. That team is really annoying to, to play against as well. Like a lot of lockdown with a Viego is just annoying. She doesn't win that one for win against Mundo. He's too much armor. Guess we play it out slow. I should have opted for the uh, for the previous dragon instead of for the fight. That would have been much smarter. Because then we would have had two infernals now. I guess I can or should help bolt here. I will never catch him here. Yep, nope. Too tanky. Mm, we're gonna lose Baron if we go for this. Muno is not killable. Like, not even close to killable. Good. Very good. Oh my god, this Baron is terrible. Ah, oh, this Baron is not gonna work. We have to go engage. Come on team, please kill her. Jesus Christ, this guy's just not gonna die, is he? Jesus Christ, that Mundo is tanky as hell. If a Camille ult. Camille, are you gonna use your E? Are you insane?
Jesus Christ, my dude. Like, literally didn't use his E. She was just sitting on the wall waiting to stun somebody. Oh my god, that nearly lost the fight. What the hell was that? That was quite mental. Alright then. Gonna get this red buff. I think. We have to play for this Drake. She has TP. Okay, that's good. Thank you for the scout, Ash. We needed those. We have to kill Viego. Plan isn't gonna be here, so I should be able to get this. Oh boy. Ah, no, my team is so cringe. Like, that was so... Can... Like, it's actually quite crazy how this Viego gets to stand here for 25 years and not get engaged on by a Rakan ult. He is literally the main problem. Oh, this guy also still has his ult. Oh, by the way, using my stone plate there wouldn't have helped. Anyway, I was dead. No, what? Hell no. If he thinks Vigar is the main priority, he is out of his mind. This man is by far the, the problem. If he doesn't... Oh, no, that's my build, I was about to say. Alright. Rakan doesn't have his priority straight. Like, if he goes and uses his ult on Vigar, Viego is going to clean us. Vigar is going to do nothing. He's going to do one burst rotation, and that's going to be it. It's okay, I guess. Whatever. Viego is definitely by far the biggest problem. He needs to die. Like, he absolutely has to die. If the um, Rakan can just ult him, or Ash can ult him, and we can just one-shot Viego, that would be the perfect scenario for us. Anything else is just not going to be good. Son of a bitch. Diana lived because of Sonia's. Like, I'm extremely tanky, but... I mean, my Ash is just completely useless. Sadly. Like, not having your ADC and lacking that type of damage in your team is real painful. Also, I don't know what my Camille's doing with her positioning, to be honest, but that's another thing. I'm dead. I made a mistake. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. That was a bad move. That was just straight a bad move. No excuses. Look at how little damage Ash does to Mundo. I mean, granted, she should not be hitting Mundo. She should be hitting Diana there, but... I wonder how much damage Gracchus is actually doing in these fights as well. As long as they can defend double turrets, we're good. That's good. That's a really nice execution. If they can kill Mundo here, that would be really nice. They should be able to do it. She needs to get her armor penetration item. 
You know, I made a mistake, definitely. I shouldn't have gone in here. That was just suicide move. I should have just played back. Alright, I'm full build now, though. There is that. I went Cleaver, by the way, because it's just gonna help me kill them faster. I like my survivability is more than fine. Especially considering I have a stone plate active that I can use. So on that aspect, there should be no problem. It's just the fact of being able to do enough damage. That's the problem for me right now. That's why I want Cleaver. Oh, got it. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm full build anyway. It's going to take red and then we're hopefully going to fight for this. We need to kill this, this guy badly. Okay, she's TPing beforehand, that's good. It should be an engage, just ult anything, please, Ash! Oh, she doesn't have an ult yet, she doesn't have an ult yet. Please, he needs to be our main priority right now. Okay, I'm gonna walk away here so he doesn't get the kill on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can use red buff to heal somewhat, but I have to wait for another engage opportunity. That's the one. That's the one I was waiting on. That's exactly the one I was waiting on. He can't kill me, I'm just gonna go for him. That hit me, that's sad. She can have it. I have nothing to gain. I just need to buy like a potion. Um. I think I'm gonna get this one. I just need to make sure that I don't get CC locked down and then I should be good. My Ash is starting to pick up in damage because we're like nearing the later game, which is good. Like that's gonna be extremely helpful to us. In that specific fight, Viego basically got locked out of it, and you see how much easier the fight becomes when that happens. I just need the Rakan to realize that as well. Viego lost his GA, so that's really good now. I can't do this. I'm not gonna do this. It's too risky. Like, I may have been able to kill Vigar there, but if they have, like, backup, we have no vision. My team was not in position to follow that play, and we would have just lost. Please, please, you could have flash ulted him, he would have died. Oh my fucking god. That would have been, that literally would have been GG right there. Alright, I got the Viego out of the fight, that's beautiful. Now just focus Diana, I guess. That's it. Am I getting any assistance here, buddy? Viker has no mana, so he gets to do nothing here. My dude, like, Rakan, please. Rakan, please. Oh my Jesus Christ, my guy. God damn, Rakan, please. Help me, my guy. Holy shit. He was just standing there waiting for me to die. That was quite awkward. I'm gonna get another potion here. And look at this damage, by the way. 7,200 increased damage from Muramana this game so far. And this item as well, 8.7k. Insanity. But yeah, if Rakan doesn't want to go for it, we should go for this guy. Please ult him, 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 thank you! This guy is dead, this is amazing. 
Walking back towards the team. Build here. Good. A good Viger cage. He died with ult up? Oh, excuse me, what? Ragus, buddy, you can't do this. I'm gonna have so much extra gold. There's nothing I can buy either. Because I can't sell these boots. I can't get rid of my, my CC reduction. It's just not a thing. So I'm just gonna have excess gold here. All of my items are too important to uh, to keep. So it is, this is just gotta be what it is. Alright, we just gotta play for the dragon. And then we should be good. I get another red buff because mine's timing out. As long as you have the setup for this, we should be good. Gragas is gonna respawn. I don't know, even know how Gragas died in that last fight, honestly. Please teleport! Please just. Oh my god, I have to ult for that. I'm not happy about that ultimate. I'm really not happy about this ultimate. I'm gonna focus the Viego down as much as I can now. I got him into his GA, that's good. Put my ghost here. Where is my team? They're... Jesus Christ. Okay, Viego died. Really good. I'm happy about this. You're not going to be able to live here, buddy. Jesus Christ. I actually don't know if we can end. Can we end? No, nah, probably not. Actually, maybe we can. I think we can. It's just the Diana. We, we will be fine. I hard carried this game. Like, this is an incredible hard carry from Hecarim right here. Just hit the turrets, please. Just don't worry about the Diana. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, uh, I'm just going to go into the end game stats as well now, actually. I'll give it to... Rakan. I guess he played the best. Jungle Abyss. Look at my damage! Oh my god! 70.5k damage done. My, my Muraman at the end of the game, I didn't check, but it must have done like 10k damage or something at the end there. Like actually done like 10 or 11k damage, which is incredibly insane. 70.5k damage done, alright. Um, damage to objectives, not that high of course. Alright, right. damage taken. 80k damage taken. I'm the same as Mundo, but I did like the same damage output as I took damage. This is a Hecarim build, boys. This is why I like Muramana, by the way. Like, this just made it super clear. Healing done. 40k healing done. Yeah, that was just a really hard carry. Incredibly hard carry. Alright, cool.